or do the acrobatic world sense at all, but I wanted to try to get the basics out here. So to make the bitumen flow, all the pipeline projects currently being proposed in Canada involve a two-way traffic of hazardous material. Because first, they have to ship something called diluent into Alberta to stir it into the bitumen on a proportion of something like 30% diluent to 70% bitumen to get it to flow in pipes. Diluent is not a term of science. They might as well call it magic goop. It's just what the industry likes to call a fossil fuel product, which is otherwise valuable for other purposes. It's mostly it's a it's a compensate. It's what you might think. It's like naphtha. So it's naphtha to which they add benzene, cancer-causing benzene, another additive to this product, and they often add butane lighter fluid. So they stir all that up and they put that in now the Enbridge project on their evidence the National Energy Board say they plan to buy the diluent from Saudi Arabia. So there'd be tankers loaded with diluent making their way up the BC coast to go in pipelines be Enbridge wants to build twin a twin pipeline operation. So at one end you put the diluent in to ship it up to northern Alberta from OPEC countries. And then the other one, you stir it all in and it comes back. Of course, the same tankers aren't sitting around waiting for it. So one set of tankers come in to deliver the diluent, go away. Another set of super tankers are supposed to come in again and, and pick it up once it's blown. Well, oh, and I, you know, again, I want words. This is one of the ones they invented. If you were in the industry, if you were going to take bitumen and you're going to mix it with diluent, and then they call the product diluent. 